Hello, this <coughs> is King Miner, here to show you my first video. I'm terribly sorry for my lagginess, this is my laptop, I'm afraid. Um, as soon as I do, <coughs> I will promise to try and fix the lagginess. Anyways, um, today I'm not going to be showing the tutorial, but instead, I made a castle. Right now, I th I'm still working on it though, and I think it's now time that I can show it to the public. Okay. Okay, so this is how it basically looks like from the front. Right now, I'm just going to make 360 of it. I'm not going to get into the details straight away. And I think it took me roughly a month just to get this far. Oh, sorry. Mm. So that's my 360 of the castle. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so you can clearly see that you can't get through this. So, well, so that means that you can't get through it. So that's good if you want to play with your mates for them to destroy. But also, I've also made this device, cannon. And I'm sure you heard it before. You just sorry. You just load a cannon here, two over here, and basically it will just destroy this whole place here, like it did here. I did try it myself to test it, and like it did here. As you can see, I'm well loaded for it. Okay, my flag. It is made with iron, bricks, and um, glowstone. And it looks really cool at night. Unfortunately, I cannot show you how it goes. This is the way out. Time to get into the details. I really tried to focus on the tree detail, because it looks really cool. Here is just some chests for a knight to collect something. Or the store. Anyone can enter it. And, um, yeah, I will improve on this blacksmith though, because I don't think it looks like a blacksmith at all. Yeah, so, here's the lava, beds, such, such, and furnaces. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible with all the details. There's mainly just houses in here. Here. And here's another house, slightly in the ground, as you can see through the window. But mainly, what I tried to focus, because when I was making this, usually if castles would always have like a farm or something. So yeah, let's see how big this is. So yeah, that's my whole farming area. Doesn't look much, but still. My tavern, as you could say, is extremely small, I'm afraid. So, this will be extremely quick. Didn't really think this through though when I was making it. As you can see, there's barely enough space for you to fit in there. I'll say that this is like. This floor is mostly like, the better one. There's a lot more space in. But although every single castle, or home as you like to say, each one has a window. I just make just makes it seem better. Down here, it's just like the furnace to warm up the floors. Yeah. So yeah, as I was saying about the trees, I refocused in the detail, 
for example there you can sort of see their curves so yeah that looks good okay so I don't want to keep repeating this but yeah this is basically just most of my houses will be empty though so okay but alright stop as you can see I booby wired this as you can see, Hold on. yeah, fires. So, if any of my friends just come charging in, charges in here, boom, they'll get a surprise. Ah, there's another door I forgot to mention. Here, well, basically, it's all my walls, except for the one that will, the entrance there from the wall to the city. All of these have these giant passages. I shall not go into it because it's really just stone bricks and all. Okay, so here is a bridge. Because all these little castles have a bridge to pass. For some reason this is open. Which is awkward. Anyways. And yeah, most of my house just are like this. This is my first house of the kingdom, literally. This one here. That's why it looks so tidy and neat. Also, lots of space on the roof. Not sure. God damn these doors. Can hardly ever get through them. And to make it just look all better at night, I put gloves down here. As you can see, part of the revives, the waterfall, and yeah, close down. The waterfall, I think I've slightly overdone the waterfall. Still, I too, I also put close down in there. And as you can see, every tree at least has some, at least has some glowstone next to it, so it's not just all dark and gloomy at night. Literally, all I say is that this is the city of light, which I forgot to mention when I was talking about the flags. Okay, so here's just a normal door you can't get past here, but there's a secret mining area. You just destroy that vine, boom, and you're in a mine area. I have not yet completely explored this. So yeah, once I explored it completely, then I'll show you like a whole preview of it. Oh yeah, forgot to mention that you can also close it while you're in there, so it's like top secret. <coughs> okay, so like I was saying, you can't really get past this area unless you fly, which it's not really normal. So I mostly play this map for survival of my friends against zombies, etc, etc. So this is more like a combating area. But when I'm by myself with all my friends, I just like role playing in it. Playing villagers and... Yeah. As we go up, the houses get better. For example, this one has a brilliant view of the city. And has his own private resting area. See? This is one of my best houses. And there's just an empty room. Don't know why I put it there. Maybe just look a little pretty. If you jump here, you can see who wants to live in a one block house. Or someone that would like to live underground. That's right. There's one of the houses that are, that are underground. As we go up, all churches, I mean, all castles must have a church. So as we go up, you would see the church right there. There's a flag on it. And house just get more improved as we go up. 
Actually, I think this is the one that I was talking about that looks brilliant. Because you can see the waterfall down there. Etc. Um, I th the church can definitely be improved. Before it used to be made out of cobblestone, that, that just didn't look too churchy. So yeah, this is like the cross area. And here are those sitting areas. Don't know what they're called because I'm not a Christian. No offense to anyone that is Christian that's feeling this. As we go down, we can't get to the other side. So I made a little passage here. That's pretty good actually. And houses are just overlapping this place completely. Through. This is not really a house, it's more like a station guarding for one of the guards. I don't know. It's up to you to think about it. One of the guards to look out, I'm not sure. Like I said, most of these houses I have not improved yet, but I shall eventually. So yeah, this is one of the houses that are not finished yet. Yeah. Alright, let's go downstairs. As you can see, this place will never turn dark, because look, this whole place is covered with lights. That's why it's called City of Light. Yeah. Hint, hint. Who's my name? Now this one. Um, I'm not sure if you heard of Captain Sparkles. He's doing like Tale of Kingdoms mod. One of the houses that he got had like these things here. So yeah, that gave me an idea of how to stabilize them. Most of my houses I'm not done. So. And um, I think that I sh eventually I will. I promise you, just keep on reminding me. I will event war. What I'm gonna do? Oops. Eventually, I actually will make a tutorial on how to make a Catholic church. Yeah, I made it before. I'll show it to it yeah, to you later. It was not in this map though. House is mostly undone, but they're just hanging about, see? Look at this house, it's just completely covering this area. I have got no idea how it's covering that area. Woo! Lots of pressure on the bricks. Glowstone is literally everywhere. Here is a tower defense, just to make it look pretty. I put iron bars on it. As we go up, or we'll adventure into another wall which you can go inside as I was making this me and my friends just decided to make a like a hall of fame for the swords that have done their deeds for example this sword has slayed many wraths whatever they're called and etc slaying As we go up here, you can see this little campsite, I'll go to that next. This wall, I'll say is the most protected, there are guards word, because they can just ambush them from above. Not true. Mainly because there is a campsite here, that's also from the light city. Two people would guard this area since there are two beds, and there's a giant campsite. Yeah. For it to be lasting that long, I also put another right. No, not another right. <coughs> I put what's it called? Nether blocks, something like that. So yeah, that's my city. Yeah. Oh, I actually forgot to tell you. This actually is pretty smart. I did not even discover this. I had to like search the whole area so I can put another camp. But no, 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 no. Oh yeah, I also put like two flags here. Oh, I'm getting so much sidetracked. 
And yeah, I found like a whole cave here yeah, that's completely covered with these trees so you can't even see it from the fence. So um, I thought this could be like a smuggler's trade or something. Or something. Yeah. Whatever you think about it. Just leave it in the comments. Okay, so for the last time. Here's my kingdom. Comment below if you, if you could say that I can improve anything. I would dealt I will dealt to it when I can. <laughs> and try my best. Oh my days, I'm so getting sidetracked. Yeah, I also made this tunnel. Yeah. So you can get to one to another bridge here. Yeah. Oh, the last thing, oh my days, I'm getting sidetracked. So sorry. So terribly sorry. Let's go down. Take me down. Here is... If there's anyone that really gets, like, claustrophobic, this is not a place for you. Here is the dungeon! As well, we actually have a dungeon. And the dungeon is just full of villagers. Yeah, that's right, I'm looking at you. Bakery. Try to steal coins and hide them in your bread. Yeah. Here's just full of criminals, as I was like to say. Why does one go? I think it made a suicide. So they each have their own bed. And yeah. So that's a whole tour of my castle. I'll say it once more and for the last time. Comment below and And if you really enjoyed this tour, a like would be much appreciated. This is King Brick. Good night.